What's going on YouTube and I'm back again with another video <laughs> and this time I'll be showing you what I got from the recent days that have passed since it was payday a few days ago <laughs> of course I got a new gunpla actually not a new gunpla new gunplus <laughs> so I went to Terminus as always and I got me last Tuesday an SDCS Nightingale and an SDCS RX 78 2 and cross silhouette frame set. And I got them for really cheap, close to Japan price. And uh, yeah, let's unbox them. So let's un first unbox the bigger one. Yeah, but uh, before we do that, I'm going to show you a size comparison of the boxes. So, let's put them against each other. There you go. So, as you can see, here is the box of the Nightingale Gundam. Oh, Nightingale Gundam. SD Nightingale. What the hell? So, so there you go. The box of the Nightingale is a little bigger. But the same height and... It's thicker than the RX 78 2. Okay, so let's first open up the Nightingale Gundam as I got this first. Because the RX 78, I just got this earlier today. <laughs> so, yeah, I got this earlier today. So, from work, I traveled to Terminus just to grab this. Because uh, I actually saw this when I bought the Nightingale and uh, they had two pieces left and thankfully when I got there earlier the last piece which is this one was still there and nobody picked it up and uh, <laughs> I almost missed it again so now I wouldn't have to wait a few weeks to get a copy of my own so let's open it up and see what's inside so one two Oh, forgot to show you the box. I'm sorry, I'm not myself today. <laughs> so here's the front of the box, so we can see here the SD cross silhouette logo. Oh, I got there the cross silhouette system. Nightingale SD frame included. So it was made in 2018. So it's a uh, line launched this year, so it shows you that the funnels can be removed. The money eye can be moved. Some of the poses with the regular SD frame and some of the poses with the actually not some a pose with the CS frame. Here's a the side of the box which actually has really nothing special. It just has the image from the front of the box. Here's the other side, which shows you how the head is constructed. Mm-hmm. Or I think at least I think it's the head <laughs> and uh, some of the parts and the funnels and the funnels can be removed all of them uh, the shield and the beam shotgun it costs right around 14,000 1400 yen 14, is the other side of the box which is identical to the other so let's see what's inside let's move the lights let's see what we have inside okay let's remove that Ooh. Oh boy, this is really chunky. <laughs> From what I see, it's really chunky. Yeah. <laughs> so let's look at the manual first and see what we got. So here's the manual. So, the, yeah, there are two sides of the manual. So the top half actually tells you. How to build the kit without using the CS frame and on the bottom half it tells you how to build the kit with the CS frame so let's move to the back the back side of the manual is actually colored so we have here the image of the product some of the kits that are available are 78 crossbone Gundam CS frame and yada yada tells you how to Attach the decals it comes with, and yeah, there the logo of the Xeon. The Xeon logo is actually a decal, including the one on the chest and the G Clef logo there. 
yeah so let's move to the parts so let us check out the parts and uh, I forgot to mention earlier that the kit comes in four baggies <laughs> so the first bag includes the big pieces like the back skirt the foot the feet the shield and parts of the head and the chest and the fin the antenna sorry <laughs> and uh, the other one includes the sh one shoulder binder some of the funnels parts for the arm the front uh, front skirt and the quote unquote not dick of the kit <laughs> chest part the head and yeah some of the head parts as well so we'll move to the next bag okay so the next bag contains the boosters so this one big chunk of booster with two oh booster fuel tanks rather uh, it's one solid piece that goes under the back skirt and uh, three fuel tanks that goes on the backpack some of the thruster, thrusters I think those are thrusters for the side skirts oh no front skirts yeah uh, we have the parts for the internal parts of the shoulder binders like this one it has the boosters there about front of the shield which where you attach the sticker right there and uh, some of the waist area I think the backpack and the beam shotgun yeah and we get a small sticker sheet so for an SD kit this line actually comes with fewer stickers than the original line like the original old SDs yeah so it's better <laughs> so I move to the next bag so the third baggie of runners actually contain just one plate of parts so has the shoulder binder right there arm parts and the funnel so let's look at the first one we got let's see it is actually a duplicate of that part except for the half removed yeah <laughs> it's pretty much the same Bandai Strix <laughs> so as you can see here like we have excess molding that's from cutting the mold <laughs> that's what you get Bandai that's what you get customer for interesting Bandai <laughs> and we move on to the last baggie which contains the a great looking clear piece for the mono eye clear green it's for the mono eye uh huh and we have another duplicate runner which has only two parts for the shoulder binders so it's the same uh, same case with the uh, other runner the shoulder binder thing here and we move to the runner which is molded in gray which contains the frame for the SD standard frame for the SD yeah so I'm actually very excited to build this because it's the first time I got myself an SDCS frame kit so it's gonna be a new build to me and a new experience to me and uh, another thing that is basically new to me is you know what it is it's building an SD kit that doesn't have poly caps that's right the SDCS does not have poly caps instead you have plastic on plastic frames and plastic on plastic joints which is a good thing and a bad thing if you ask me it's a good thing in a sense that uh, you don't have poly caps to break so they don't break easily but the problem here is yeah they're really tight but the problem is if once you build it and if you build it correctly they would last longer but if you do not build them correctly like and then if you pose them a lot you change the poses time after time it degrades the plastic it shaves the plastic so it becomes floppy <laughs> but yeah actually they're in my opinion like the plastic on plastic they're better than poly caps in a sense because yeah you don't have to deal with soft stuff and you don't have to deal with parts popping on and off rather easily but you have to deal with the amount of plastic and the stiffness of the joints which is a good and a bad thing again 
Yep. <laughs> so, they're like the Katoki kits. Unicorn Katoki kits. They don't contain any polygons. Yeah, so this is gonna be a fun experience for me. So, that will be all for the Nightingale. And let's move on to the Granddaddy. Okay, so now we're back and we're gonna open the uh, RX-78-2 Gundam and see what's inside so let's first look at the box where's the front of the box which shows us that the SD kit built well in the line art it's built without the CS frame this is the regular SD frame and we have here the Gundam built with the CS frame so you can see here the normal SD frame CS frame so this kit comes with the CS frame in it so here's the side of the box which shows you the kit posing with the regular SD frame. And here's the box, side of the box which shows you the kit posing with the CS frame. So here's another side of the box which contains the line art from the front of the box. The other side which shows you the part separation for the head, uh, the posing of the kit, the frame itself, and how the CS frame actually changes the look of the Gundam aesthetics not only the height but the eyes as well uh, this kit costs around the same as the Nightingale SD 1400 yen and here's the other side of the box which shows the CS frame version and the other side actually shows the SD frame version so that's about it and let's open her up and see what we got inside This is actually the first one in line. The first kit from this line. Okay. And that's removed. Okay, we have one, two, two bags of runners. Wow, that's less than what I expected. <laughs> so let's move the box away. And let's check the manual. So it's the front of the manual. Same with the Nightingale. We have like the entire back page is colored yep and there we have the same scenario here the top part shows you how to build the kit without the frame and the bottom part shows you how to build the kit with the frame with the CS frame that is so pretty standard pretty standard from what I see and let's move on to the pieces okay so the first bag of runners contains the standard SD frame right here the less articulated one and it comes with together with the uh, let's put on sunlight uh, the CS frame SD CS frame so we have the GM head uh, GM head right here For some reason I think they're gonna make an SD GM in the future because yeah why would they include and mold and create a GM head if they're not gonna use it someday so yeah as the CS frame here it's the more articulated frame as you can see this would be the arms it has joints it has an elbow joint in the thighs actually would have this one the thighs they have another joint that will be attached to the leg okay and let's move on to the last bag and the last bag actually contains the small sticker sheet like the Nightingale has a real small sticker sheet and we have the comic eyes of a Gundam so which is common for the Sengoku Den kits to have pupils in their eyes okay and we get one of these an entire runner molded in white which contains the parts of the unit because this kit is mostly white and we get a beam saber molded with a handle that is sad I wish they could have included like a beam effect part they have included like a green clear green part for the nightingale why not include a beam effect part for the beam saber so eh. so we get for bandai well it's their first kit in line so yeah they might include it in future releases but uh, let's just hope so we have this one a plate in multicolors so we have parts of the shield the feet uh, I think this is the chin, a torso, I think this is for the eyes, the normal eyes where you put the stickers in, the eyes for the 
CS frame. Okay, some of the the crest on the V fin. Some of the I think this one is the one on the sides of the head of the kit. Hands, scope of the beam rifle, parts of the torso, the backpack, and the eye cover. Yeah, so that's about it. So this is gonna again, this is gonna be a new experience for me, and uh, let's just see how it feels and how I think about how I perceive it. See if I think it is good or not. Yeah, so we'll get there, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. For now, I can subscribe if I somehow help, and click the subscribe button right here. Yep, for now, bye-bye.